Hello everyone and welcome back to part one on how to create a first person shooter game in Roblox. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to place a view model in front of the camera and how to make an animatable view model. So if I go to my animation editor, select my view model, I will be able to animate it. And you'll be able to play the animation and much more. And uh, I will also be showing you how to load the animation so so that the player will be able to hold the gun and uh, well, holding the gun will be next episode, but I'll be showing you how to play the animation. So, we're going to start off by showing you how to make a rig. Now, if you don't want to follow this part of the tutorial, you can just get the rig in the description. It does not have any scripts, but you can get the rig. Um, so, what we're going to do is you want to add a part. Let's say this is our arm. It can be a mesh part or anything. Let's change the size to 8, 1.5 comma 1.5 i think that should be a good size yes it is and we will duplicate it and place it right here now after placing our part i think i should make everything a bit smaller and we'll be adding another part so if you go to part rename this one to hrp or humanoid root parts and then you want to select uh, model and you want to go to you want to make sure that the front surface is the actual front surface so if you just go to i think there's something called surface in here no so we can just uh, go here press this little thing over here i'm pretty sure it's beta feature so if, if it is you can just enable it right here I think it was called uh, orientation something. Okay, so I don't think it's a beta feature. If you don't see it, you can just find it here. But it will be showing you the front surface. Now we want to select this, turn it, and set its size to a cube. So 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. And we're going to make sure it's anchored and place it in the middle right here and you want to move it up a little bit oh for some reason it's it got it's gotten bigger okay so you want to make sure it's anchored and that can collide isn't checked and then you want to select both of your arms and you want to make sure that anchored is unchecked and can collide is unchecked now you want to rename your right arm to right arm or r arm and the other one to l arm and then you want to group everything together Control j and you want to rename this one to view model view model and then you want to well give some colors to your view model so let's give it like maybe a skin color something like that and make sure that the humanoid group part transparency is set to one and then to make it animatable you want to go to the first link in the description download this plugin and restart studio now we want to press easy weld go to parts and make sure you check animatable and then you want to select the humanoid root part and the left arm then join in place and then humanoid root part right arm join in place and now if you go ahead and set the view models primary part to the well, humanoid root part, and you go to your animation editor, you will be able to. Oh, that's weird. Now let's go new uh, animation. Oh, yes, you want to add an animation controller. Now, to do that, you want to you want to add a script to the workspace, and then you want to do local, uh, you want to do instance instance dot new and we're going to create an animator animation controller and we're going to parent it to the workspace and then you want to just copy this paste it here and it should create an animation controller now i want to put it inside of the view model and then you want to put local animator instance dot new and we're going to create an animator animator and we're going to parent it to the workspace now you want to copy that, paste it right here, and oh, it did not really work. But uh, animators has to be oh yes, sorry. 
in, uh, put your animation controller inside of the workspace and then you want to put comma uh, workspace dot animation controller now you want to run this and it should put your animation your animator inside of the animation controller now you want to delete this script just rename it to commands it will be useful for some commands um uh, so let's just delete whatever is inside of it and you want to select your view model make sure that your animation controller and animators are inside of the view model now you're going to go to plugins animation editor and select this now you'll be able to animate your view model however you want so that's really nice now we will be making a quick holding animation so that's very very simple or not now we're gonna script it first so to script that we will rename our uh, view model to view model view model capital v capital m and then you want to put it inside of replicated storage actually add a folder inside of replicated storage rename it to main game to well main game and then you want to add another folder which will be renamed to view model view model and then you want to select your view model put it inside of the view model uh, or actually rename this to guns sorry and put your first gun or first view model inside of here now inside of start gui we're going to add a folder for client scripts and rename it to client uh scripts and then you want to add a local script so search for a local script and then you want to create a variable for the player well, actually we don't need the player yet but we will need it later or before we do that sorry uh, we're gonna have to add a module script script to the uh, view model rename it to well uh configuration config or configuration and uh, not con no config config and then you want to create a module dot um offset uh maybe let's rename it to offset from uh offset underscore from underscore camera is equal to and c frame dot new and you want to put a random c frame value inside of here so let's do minus one comma zero uh comma one point two comma let's put one point five i'll be showing you what these do in a minute but uh let's firstly uh do local plr is equal to game dot players dot local player now we're gonna create a variable for these services so services and we're gonna do local run service is equal to game colon get service and run service now we're gonna get uh i think we're just going to need the run service for now or yeah let's get replicated storage local replicated storage is equal to game call get service replicated storage now we're gonna create some variable, variables for some modules and we're gonna do local config is equal to require uh replicated storage dot make dot main game or call wait for child call wait for child main game call wait for child and guns call and wait for child view model call and wait for child and uh we're gonna wait for the config now i think this will be better if we had a yeah let's create objects objects and we're gonna do local objects is equal local view model is equal to that so local view model is equal to and paste in this and we reach the view model do not put column wait for child config and in here you just want to do view model column wait for child config and then you want to do well, we're going to go to the main code main code and then 
will uh, create a variable for the C frame, local CF is equal to C frame dot new. And then what we're going to be doing is, uh, I think, yes. So we're going to use render step, so function uh, place, or maybe, uh, I don't know, position, or function position mod model. And we're going to, yes, that's. So now you want to do a view model on set primary part C frame, and you want to set its primary part C frame to actually I forgot to create a variable for the camera sorry so local camera is equal to uh, workspace dot current camera now we're gonna do camera dot C frame multiplied by uh, config dot uh, offset for, from underscore camera so you want to just copy all of this, paste it here, and that should work. Now you want to do run service dot render step to colon connect function and or sorry colon connect position model. And now if you go ahead and play the game, it should position the model. Oh, I forgot to clone it. Sorry. Really sorry about that one. Uh, so we're gonna clone the module, the model. Call and clone. And we're gonna set its parent. So view model dot parent is equal to workspace or let's do that right here. So view model dot parent parent uh parent is equal to camera. And that should work. Now, if you go ahead and play the game, it should place the module in front of the model in front of the camera, but it didn't. So to fix this, it's pretty simple. Hmm. Main game. Oh, main. Uh, I typed the game wrong, so sorry about that one. Main game. And it should work. Now, as you can see, we have a weird model play placed in here. To fix the weirdness, we're going to just mess around with these C frame values. Now, that's what these do. Let me just put a space between each one so that you, can, you guys can see what's happening. So, this is the X axis. So, I think minus one is good. And this is going to be, I think, zero. And I think I'm going to change this to, yes, I think that's decent. So, so that should be good. Nope, it's not. Now I'll be showing you guys how to get a, how to find a good position. So instead of your workspace, we're gonna add a string of a uh, number value. And rename this one to uh, pos position x, and you want to duplicate it. And this one is going to be pos x uh, y, and pause um, duplicate it again. And this one is going to be pause uh, z. Now we want to. I think that should work. Yes. So I think I'm just going to do while loop here. So while wait do do um offset from camera is equal to c frame dot new and workspace dot uh position x dot value and we're gonna go to workspace dot position uh y dot value and workspace dot position uh z dot value and if you go ahead and play the game i'm not too sure about that one since we put a while loop new module I think it should work. Yes. Uh, nope. It won't. Now I have to find why that happened. So let's see. They did not even clone the module. Now that's a bit of a problem. 
but it's not a problem right now since we'll be placing that right there so we're gonna do local pos uh x local pos y local uh pos uh z uh let's set these to zero and we'll set that to C frame, so make sure you do what I'm doing. C frame dot new, and we're gonna do workspace dot position x dot value, comma workspace dot position uh, y dot value, comma workspace dot position z dot value. Now inside of our configuration module, don't touch anything, and just play the game. Now this should work yes so it did place our module model now you want to open up your notepad this is how to get a good positions and then you want to change uh, position x to whatever you want so i'm going to put it at one and the position y to maybe two or minus 0.5 or minus 0 0.1 or minus one or minus 1.2 and then I'm going to change the Z to one, two. That two is pretty good. So it looks like this right now. Now you want to go back to your notepad and put the position that you got. So I put the X at one and the Y at minus, uh, minus 1.2. And I put the z to two now you want to stop the game and paste in your position inside of the module so you want to put the numbers that we found and then you want to go back to your local script and you want to just remove all of this since it's not useful right now we got it to work and here you just want to do multiplied by uh, uh, you want to multiply it by config dot uh, offset from camera, and that should work. So as you can see, we have it positioned correctly this time. And what I'm going to do right now is show you guys how to make it uh, well animate when you move. So to do that, we'll or maybe we're gonna do that in the next episode because this one is getting a bit too long. So in the next episode, I'll be showing you guys how to get a nice, smooth uh, walking animation with a sine wave. And yeah, I think this is pretty much it for today's tutorial. If this helps, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.